Welcome to this new tutorial. It is about how to create that teleporter thing in VR where like you look to the floor, it appears a mark on the floor and when you tap the touchpad you get teleported to that place. So first things first, you need to come to the developer oculus.com in the download sessions and Unity. We're gonna need in the core package the Oculus Utilities for Unity 5 and in the supporting package we're gonna need the Oculus Sample Framework for Unity 5. So I have already downloaded them and I'm gonna import them to my project in Assets, Import Package, Custom Package and I'll start with the Utilities Package so you can import everything from the utilities package, but we don't need the scenes. Like, I always leave the sample scenes behind because I'm not going to use them. So you can just uncheck them. So it will be a little bit faster for the import and it's going to take less space in your project. So here we go. And for the other package, you do the same thing. Uh, import custom package and we go to the Oculus sample framework. I'm using the version 1.11.0. So this is a really big package and the only thing we're gonna need is only the OVR inspector. All the rest of the stuff you can leave behind. So here it goes, we don't need the lights, the VR, the avatar, the harness, only the inspector. We don't need the parts, the plugins, results. Nothing. There it goes, only the OVR inspector, and here we go. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a, pl a plane. Um, it will be our ground. He's zero, 00. I'm gonna increase his size a little bit. Yeah, oops, not 12, just 2. Here we go, and I'm gonna create a new folder called materials because I want to give uh, some color to this ground. So here I'll create inside the folder a material. This will be called ground material, and his color will be I don't know something like a little bit red, something like this. You can put any color you want. I just don't like leaving it blue. Sorry, leaving it, leaving it white. So you can delete the main camera. We're gonna need here in OVR, in the prefabs, we're gonna need the OVR camera rig. Let's put it like here. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. And now we need to set the gaze. The gaze is like that mechanism you can interact with object using your gaze. So first things first, we're gonna need to add in our camera rig the OVR physics ray caster. We're also going to need a event system here. You can like we don't need the input module, so I'm just going to remove it. And we need to add here a OVR input module, okay? And in the ray transform element, we need to put our center eye anchor. So here it goes. Right. And we also need to add a, we go to the OVR inspector in the resources prefabs, we need to add a gaze pointer ring here. And in the gaze pointer ring, he also requires a ray transform, which is also the center eye anchor. So I think we are fine. I'm just going to hit play and see if everything's okay. Yeah, it seems to be fine. I'm going to move the tracking space to see if everything's fine. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Yeah, it is fine, I guess. Okay. I don't know why he's not showing up, but that's okay. We'll leave it like this for now. So, okay, first things first. And I'm going to create a new folder called scripts.
and I'm gonna create a script called a C sharp script called teleporter. And I'm gonna add this script to our center I oops sorry. It's not the left hand anchor. It's the center I anchor. Let's see. Yeah, he got the teleporter. I'm just gonna check if I didn't add it by mistake to other element. No, it's okay. So we're gonna edit the teleporter script. Uh, sorry guys, I forgot to mention, we also need something to show the user that where he's looking at, we need a mark on the floor to show the user where he's going to teleport. So I'm gonna create a empty object, oops, not here, sorry, it needs to be like in the hierarchy, not inside any object. He will be like the teleport mark. I'm gonna put it like at zero zero zero. And this guy, he, he needs a canvas, so you can come here like in canvas. But this canvas, it must be on the world space. It can't be on the screen space. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna reset his position, and I'm gonna give it a size of I don't know one by one. I think it's alright. And I need to give it some rotation so he can face up. So I think it will be like minus 90 degrees, he'll be facing up. And here I'm going to add a image, UI, image. And in the image you need to click here and you press out. When you press out you see this guy will change. And without pressed you choose this guy over here. And here we go. And now I need a source image for him. I'm gonna pick like the gaze ring. It really doesn't matter what image you get. And I'm gonna put it a little bit higher. Something like just... Yeah, I think that's okay. 0 0.5, that's fine. Cool. And I'm gonna hide it. It'll be like hidden. And here we go to the teleporter script in the script is like a reference to our teleport marker and a reference to our player oops sorry to the transform of our player and we also gonna need a variable for our ray length this is like the maximum distance we can teleport so I'm gonna put it like 50 I think 50 is a good distance, that's alright. On the start method we need the OVR touchpad dot create. So here we can get access to the touchpad. I'm using right now the gear VR, so I want that to catch the moment when the user taps on the gear VR. But you can get like this in the Oculus Touch controller, you can also get the, the main action. It's just a question of you mapping your device to get the tap, the, the action you want from the user input. I'm gonna create another function uh, called touch um, touchpad handler, which will receive a object sender and a system dot event arguments e. So what I'm gonna do is like every time the user interacts with the touchpad, I want to uh, touch handler. So I want it to call this function. So every time the user is if he's like swiping the touchpad or he just touched the touchpad, I want it to use this as a callback. So so the first thing we need to do here is we need like I, an OVR touchpad, touch arguments. We need to cast the system arguments to OVR touchpad arguments. So we can get like the information necessary to understand if the user is doing like a single tap, a double tap, a swipe, because what we're interested in right now is on the single tap. So if you go to arguments, touch type, and it is equals uh, OVR touchpad. 
single tap. This is exactly what we want to do. So here we need need to uh, check if the user is looking. Uh, actually, check where the user is looking to teleport him. Let's leave it like this for a while. So here in the update function, we need a raycast heat because we're going to create a raycast to, to see where the user is looking at. If he's looking to the ground, uh, we want to know that he's looking to the ground. We're also going to create a new ray, which is a... Yeah, new ray. He's gonna start from as we're gonna put this object in our in the mid in the in our camera center position anchor. It is like exactly on the middle of the camera. We can like start our ray from the transform position, and I want him to go forward. So position, oops, transform. Yeah, forward. So with this, I create a ray looking forward. And now, if physics.raycast, now we create a raycast to the floor with the length of the length we have specified, and we see if we have hit something. So, if we have hit something, uh, sorry, I forgot to close this guy over here. If he hits something, we're gonna enter in this guy. So we need to check if the thing he hit is the ground. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna add a collider to the ground and add a tag called ground to it. So we need to check the collider of the thing we hit and we need to check if his tag is ground. And if his tag is ground, then we need to check if the teleport marker is active. So, oops, sorry, teleport marker active. Actually, we need to check if he's not active. If he's not active, we need to show him, like to activate it. So we're gonna get him and set him active. And now we need to put the teleporter market, marker, sorry. Uh, his position must be uh, in the, sorry, uh, it's, it's hit dot point. So what we're saying is like, look at the ground uh, check if the user is looking to the ground. If he's looking to the ground, show the teleporter marker where he's looking at in the ground. But if if the user hit something but is not the ground, so we need to hide the teleport marker. So we set him to so we set active false, so we hide him, and we need to do the same thing in case we don't hit anything. So here's the same. He is not active. And now we need to check here when the user touches the touchpad, we need to check if the teleporter marker is active. Uh, because if he's active, uh, it's because the user is looking to the floor right now. So if he's active, we need to put the player in the same position as him. So we go to our player dot position and it will be the same as the teleporter marker uh, position. Uh, sorry guys, there is a mistake here because we can't put the player in the same position as the teleporter marker because as you can see we need the player to, to stay a little bit up so we can see stuff so we only need the X and Z position of the teleporter marker so what we're gonna do is like the player position will be the actually I'm just I'm gonna get the position of the teleporter marker marker position which will be this guy over here so we only need 
day X and Z position because we don't want the player to be on the ground. We want him to be above the ground where he was before. Dot Z. That's all right. This is what's gonna happen. So now in the ground, what I need to do is uh, I need to put his mesh collider. Actually, the mesh collider, we don't need a mesh collider. You can remove the mesh collider. Let's add a tag to him. Uh, I'm going to add a tag called ground. And I want our ground to receive this tag. And I want to add a box collider. And in this box collider, I'm going to put him a little bit up so that when our player uh, look at the ground we can draw the marker above the ground because if we we if we draw if we put the marker in the same position as the ground the marker might stay a little bit under it we might have some drawing problems so we just put him a little bit above and actually you can yeah that's all right uh sorry this will work so we just need to put him a little bit up and now what I'm going to do is, he already has the teleport, I'm going to add the teleport marker here, oops, sorry, I'm going to add the player, and let's see if it works. All right, I'm gonna get the track space and look under. All right, you can see our marker is being drawn on the floor. See, everywhere I look, the marker is being drawn. And if I look up, he's not drawn. If I look on the floor, he's drawn. Now, we go to our, actually in the Gear VR, if you touch the touchpad, you get teleported. Right now, you can do this using the Unity event system. We have like the gaze click key. I think we might use the space key to get teleported. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it, it's working, sorry. You can just click. Uh, if you look to somewhere, I'm gonna look right here. I'm going to look to the other point, other like side. See, I'm looking here and I'm gonna click. Oops, yeah, and now I got teleported. Uh, it's the same as you clicking the touchpad. So with these guys, you can easily get teleported. And here it goes. I have to do double tap. I don't know why on the editor. But if you just tap on the Gear VR touchpad, you teleport instantly. So hope it, it might help you guys uh, in your projects. And if you have any feedback, if there's some tutorial you, you want to know, something you want to learn, please leave the comments. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.